Hi, this is Matthew Mead, and this is a quick review of the January release of Axis Site Designer. In this release, we've made several improvements within the Project Overview tab. The first thing I'd like to show is the project status. As we complete the various different stages of a project, we can now tick this box. When we look at the overview of all of our projects, you can see the current status. Once we have completed the project, you can see that this is highlighted in green. The next element that I'd like to show you is the improvement on schedules. We now have the ability to create an inverted schedule. So here I have office open hours from 8 till 5. I've clicked the inverted schedule icon and now I have schedules automatically created outside of those hours. The great thing about this is that they dynamically change. So if I change this to 6 o'clock, you can see that 6 o'clock has been changed here. This means if you change the original schedule, you won't have to change that inverted schedule. The final element within the project overview page that has been changed is that we now have the ability to set a default installation height. So this height will be applied to all cameras within the solution. The next item I'd like to show you is the addition of radars into the device selection and maps. So I can now easily select a radar unit and drag and drop this onto the map and see the coverage. This is the new radar that provides 180 degrees of coverage and can detect people up to 60 meters away. We also now have a measuring tool. So this can help quoting by giving you the ability to measure off distances on your plan within your project. I hope this video has explained the new features contained within Axis Site Designer. Thanks for watching.